What's up everyone, it's your boy named Jamie and welcome to my free to play fire making guide. Now this guide is aimed to help all the new players who are probably getting started on old school runescape after its introduction to the steam store a few weeks ago. Now in this video I'll be explaining everything you need to know about free to play fire making from the costs to the methods involved in getting 99 fire making to the XP rates, fastest routes and alternative routes to 99. Now, remember, if this video helps you out, to make sure you go down below the video and hit the like and subscribe button. Only 5% of my viewers end up subscribing, and I do put a lot of effort into these videos, so if you enjoy them, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Now, to start up this guide, let's talk about the cost, time, and method of getting 99 fire making. For a lot of folks, 99 fire making isn't done alongside 99 woodcutting. And instead, they just buy the logs off the GE and go right for 99 fire making by lighting those logs up all over the place and banking and repeating this process. So for the sake of this guide, I will assume that you will be buying a majority of your logs off the GE as well and doing the standard log burning and banking process in order to make this guide more standardized so that all the time and cost measurements are universal to absolutely everyone. But yeah, with that covered, let's hop right into the leveling up process and start off with levels 1 through 15. For levels 1 to 15, you're going to want to burn regular logs. While burning regular logs, you should be getting between 42 and 60k XP an hour. Now, since you will need 61 logs or roughly 2.5 thousand experience, this process should take you around 2 to 3 minutes to complete. Now, assuming you are buying these logs from the GE at a regular price, these first 15 levels will cost you on average around 5,500 coins. Now after your level 15, you're going to want to switch over to oak logs. You're going to want to do this from levels 15 to 30 and you should be getting around 63 to 90k XP an hour. And since you will need 183 logs or roughly 11,000 experience, this process should take you around 7 to 10 minutes to complete and cost around 10,000 GP. Now, after you are level 30, it's time to switch to the next method, which is Willow Logs. You're going to want to do this from levels 30 to 45, and you should be getting around 95 to 133k experience an hour. And since you will be needing 535 logs, or roughly 50,000 experience, this process should take around 21 to 25 minutes, and it will cost you around 9,000 GP. Now, after level 45, it's time to switch over to the next method, which is maple logs. You're going to want to burn maples from level 45 to 60. While doing maples, you should be getting around 141 to 200k XP an hour. And since you will need 1,572 logs or roughly 200,000 experience, this process should take around one hour to complete while costing a measly 15k. Now, after level 60, it's time to move on to the best free to play fire making method out there. And that is U logs. You're going to want to burn U logs from level 60 to 99, and while burning these logs, you should be getting around 212 to 300k XP an hour. And since you will need 63,000 logs, or roughly 13 million XP, this process should take around 42 to 60 hours to complete. Now, since this method is the absolute fastest way to 99, it is also the most expensive by far, costing a total of 14.5 million GP which is quite the hefty price tag for some free to play players. Now, because this method is so expensive, to wrap up this video, I want to go over two budget methods for 99 fire making, with the first being Willow Logs. You're going to want to do this from levels 30 to 99, and like I said before, you should be getting around 95 to 133k XP an hour. Now, if you decide to go this route, you're going to need 144,000 logs or roughly 13 million XP and because of that this route should take you between 96 and 137 hours to complete while costing you roughly 2.5 million GP. Now traditionally people only go this route for two reasons I think. The first is that willow logs are usually pretty easy to pick up from the GE due to their high trade volume so there definitely is a convenience factor there. But the second reason, which is much more important, is that traditionally this method was one, if not the cheapest method to get to 99 from. But with recent events, the second method I'm about to show you actually displaced this prior method I think pretty hard, and that is maple logs. You're going to want to do maples from level 45 to 99 if you decide to go this route, 
And like I said before, you should be getting around 141 to 200k XP an hour, making it substantially faster than Willow's to 99. Now, if you choose this method, you will need 96,000 logs or roughly 13 million XP, which should take you 64 to 92 hours to complete, while costing you only around 1 million GP. So because of this method's low cost at the moment and faster XP rates, I think it's definitely preferable to Willow Logs, which we just talked about, but let's see how all three methods compare to each other in our final analysis. So to start off, we have the fastest route to 99. So assuming you use all the fastest methods, it will take you 62 hours total to get to 99, while costing you 14.5 million GP roughly. In the middle here, we have Willows to 99, which will take you 137 hours roughly to get to 99, while costing you 2.5 million GP. And at the end here, we have Maples to 99, which will take you 93 hours total to get to 99, while costing you just under 1 million GP. So with this analysis, we can see it basically comes down to either choosing the fastest routes or basically Maples. And then from there, ask yourself, do you want to spend 13.5 million extra GP to save 31 hours of time? And to answer that question, I think you should just look at your opportunity cost and ask yourself if you can make more than 450k an hour, since that is your explicit opportunity cost here. Now, personally, I know many of you that watch this probably think that isn't very much to make, but for a lot of new players who may be watching this, 450k an hour is substantial money, especially in your early game stats. So choose wisely. But personally, I think just for me at least, if I had to choose, I would go for the faster route. Since even if you can't make 450k right now, later in the game, that will definitely be something that's doable for you. And saving that time now is very important since time is your most valuable asset when it comes to RuneScape. But with that, I'm going to wrap up today's guide here. Let me know what you think you'll be doing for your 99 method in the comment section down below. Also, while you're down there, feel free to join the Discord in the description if you have any questions. And remember, my name is Jamie, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace! I do it for the love.